discuss about something called as endometrial polyp. So endometrial polyp is just an outgrowth we see in the normal endometrial lining. It might be a small fibroid polyp or it might be just a mucus polyp. The size of polyps vary. So why are we so concerned about these endometrial polyps? They have many symptomatic reasons where the patient land up to us. So as you can see here, so these are some outgrowth seen in the endometrium lining, so which will cause more bleeding to the women that we call as menorrhagia during her periods. It might cause a lot of pain, which we call as dysmenorrhea during her cycles. And in cases of married couples who are trying to conceive, it might come in the way of implantation. It's not only common in the reproductive age, it's common in, even in young girls. So some patients land up to us at 18, 19 years with severe anemia and severe bleeding. And one of the causes might be these endometrial polyps, not though common as seen as in reproductive age. Endometrial polyps can be dealt in different ways. Very small polyps, say less than 0.5 cm, we give a cycle time, that is one month period time, to review and see whether some of them disappear with the periods. Few of them are monitored for 2-3 concurrent cycles and seen if they persist and if the couple is trying to conceive, definitely it needs a removal. So the removal might be in different ways. The most common, the best procedure which is suggested is hysteroscopic removal of endometrial polyp. So it can be done as office hysteroscopy or it can be done under anesthesia. Sometimes we have multiple endometrial polyps where we take out all the polyps in the same sitting. This gives complete clearance of the endometrial cavity. Sometimes what happens when the size is too big, it might require two sessions or if it is hard, as I called as fibroid polyp, it might require some other extra procedures. For more details, please contact Namrita Hospital. Thank you.